Well, uh, I'm going to call the meeting of the Hadley Board of Health to order. Uh, welcome, everybody. And uh, our first order of business, uh, somebody can make a motion to accept. Uh, present is Susan Mosler and Margaret Mastrangelo. Uh, Greg Mish is on medical leave. Uh, and also present is our administrative assistant, Peter Lohr. Uh, can we have a motion to accept the previous minutes? Uh, yes, I, I put that motion forward. Okay, and I'll second it and uh, let's have a roll vote. Uh, this is to accept the minutes of the last meeting of the Board of Health. Uh, Mastrangelo? Yes. Mosler? Yes. Okay, the vote passes two to two zero. Um, we are going to now uh, review with the assistance of Peter uh, and vote on the businesses that are up for permit renewals. Peter, can you read the list for us? Sure. So for, for anybody that's uh, on the call that is uh, not with the Board of Health, uh, just let you know that um, the names of the businesses that I'm going to uh, read uh, will be getting their uh, 2022 uh, food permits emailed to them uh, over the next uh, day or two. And uh, sorry for the delay, but... Um, the, uh, the process has been somewhat manual. So I will read the, uh, the organizations that will be getting their food permits over the next day or so. Uh, the first one, I'm probably going to butcher the name. It's, it's Ganji Sushi, uh, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Arizona Pizza, Greg's Goodies, Primo Pizzeria, Gohang Restaurant, North Hadley Sugar Shack, Friendly's, Maple Valley Creamery, Mill Valley Milk Store, Trans World Food Market, Western Mass Family Golf Center, Barstow Dairy, Barstow Bakery, Taco Bell, Young Men's Club of Hadley, Hillside Pizza, Barnes & Noble, Wesley United Methodist Church, Staples, Shelburne Falls Coffee, Target, Starbucks within Target, Starbucks on the other side of Route 9, First Congregational Church, jo uh, Joanne Stores, Hampton Inn, Homewood Suites, Trader Joe's, Chipotle Mexican Grill. Thank you, Peter. Uh, do we have a motion to uh, accept these uh, uh, food permits? Yes, I, I put that motion forward to accept okay. the food permits. I'll second it and uh, we'll have a roll vote. Uh, Mastrangelo? Yes. Mosler, yes. Okay, the food permits uh, have been approved by the Board of Health. Uh, I just want to acknowledge uh, some really hard work that's being done by Peter uh, and uh, how much we appreciate it. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Peter. You. Thank you. Okay, uh, item uh, four is an update on food inspections. Margaret? Yeah, so... Um... Basically, we're, we are waiting to, uh, to hear back from Western Mass Food Safety uh, so that we can get a contract uh, going for uh, this coming year. And also as we need to figure out how we can um, have someone do the follow-up for, uh, for the reports that are um, out of compliance. Um, so we are just looking to, um, you know, Meredith has been pretty tied up these days. And so we are looking to uh, uh, you know, sort that out with her so that we can get a contract in place. Um, if not for at least half the year, uh, partial, you know, part of that anyway, so that we make sure that the food inspections continue. And maybe okay. Peter wants to add to that. I'm not sure. Yeah, thanks. I will. Um, I will be in touch with Meredith O'Leary, who uh, runs the food inspection uh, service. I'll get in touch with her on Monday, uh, so that we can have a plan to uh, get a contract for at least part of the year. And uh, I know that uh, we are feeling the need to have a food safety uh, officer. Uh, hired by the town and uh, will Board of Health will be working with the town government to get that into a budget, hopefully for 
next year for the next fiscal year. I, <clears throat> Susan, I think it's important for, for the people that are on the call um, to make them aware, number one, that um, West Mass Food Services is the vendor that we used in uh, uh, 2021 and, and previously. So uh, any, any contract with them would be simply a renewal, uh, number one. And number two, any money that is associated or any expense associated with the contract, I should say, um, is already in the budget. So this is not a new expenditure. The money's in the budget. We just need to nail down the, uh, the final aspects of the contract and uh, get going. Thank, Thank you. you for the clarification. Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, update on uh, number five, rapid testing update. Uh, yeah. Okay, Our so um, we received four more kits each kit contains 40 i think it is yes yes um and i uh so i brought that to the senior center today where uh you know it was it was locked up so we can continue on with the use of that um i did put in an, an order for more uh, but did hear from um uh, the state that they're just not sure when they can get more test kits to us. Um, so I just reached out again to her and um, waiting to hear back uh, if, if she has any time frame. because what I'm not sure about is whether we should be limiting these tests, uh, you know, given the number of test kits we have available. So yeah, I would, I would say just use them up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if the state uh, doesn't have any available, then we would have to put our testing on hold until they become available. Uh, okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest limiting them. I mean, people, we should, I think we should test as many people as we can while, while the need is here. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and speaking to that, I understand there was something that came up before the select board about a place opening up next to Hadley Auto here on Route 9. Uh, an out of state vendor to do rapid testing. I don't know if either of you heard about that. It has been in the paper. It's a business. Yeah. yeah I don't, we don't, that doesn't no. have any, we don't have any association with that. Okay. No. So that's my, uh, that's my update. I'll keep you posted if, if, you know, if I hear back uh, about when the next test kits will come out to us. Okay, I will let uh, Alicia know uh, that we're not sure when we'll be getting more test kits and I'll have her uh, let us know when we're down to the last box of 40. Okay, good. Uh, number six, Zoom account. Um, yeah, so I, I think the impression that I got from an email from the town was that um, every board will now be able to, um, I guess, have their own Zoom link. Um, so this is sort of what we're trying out right now for the first time, although I know John from Hadley Media is here, uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if, if that means that John has to come every time or if it's something we can do our own recording on and then post uh, to Hadley Media, that part I don't know. John, do you have any uh, thoughts on that? Um, <clears throat> let, me, let me jump in here. Uh, I think John's on mute. Um, so John is uh, on tonight to help with the recording. I think future meetings, um, uh, one of us, you know, Margaret, whomever, um, will be uh, at the controls, you know, in terms of uh, the uh, the recording and other aspects of the uh, the use of Zoom. So, Peter, is it your sense then that this will only be for for today, the, uh, and then will be pretty much every every board will have its own. Uh, we'll still we'll still be getting our Zoom links from the town, and then we use whatever passcode is given to us. Um, that I do not know. 
Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, whatever was sent uh, earlier today, I think we, we own that, we being the Board of Health, we own that. And so again, uh, we will be in, if you will, in control of the, uh, the Zoom meetings. And, and John will, I don't think John will need to uh, be there as a uh, kind of as a, a safety, uh, safety valve or safety net. All right. So presumably we'll be able to set up our own meetings then? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, you will be able to launch them. Okay, so again, so so the the link will the link will be assigned to us by the, by, town, by the town, right, and, and so on and so forth. So it'll be up to us to, again to launch the meeting, facilitate the meeting, record it, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So somebody's going to have to learn how to do that, correct? Well, <clears throat> we, we we received uh, directions late this afternoon. Okay. So so yes. Okay, we'll we'll sort that out before our next meeting. But right. so, sounds like we have a plan moving forward. Okay, uh, number seven, health agent update. Uh, I don't. Does anybody have any? Anything so to say? I, I met today with uh, Richard Wilga, who has been doing the inspections. No, um, this is this is about the health agent. Not the no, I don't have an. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, Susan, uh, let me let me jump in on that one. Also, uh, I met with the uh, town administrator uh, early this morning, and um, as you know, we uh, put a line item uh, in the budget for the new fiscal year, which starts July first, for a uh, full time health agent that would engineer uh, and be responsible for um, making sure that the food inspections are done, the reinspections are done. Um, as well as uh, uh, much of the uh, Title V uh, oversight. Um, the budgets for fiscal uh, 2023 have not been vetted. So again, we, we have it in there as a line item, as, an, as a new uh, position starting in July. Um, I do know that a job description has been drafted, but again, the, the budget has not been approved um, or presented for that matter to the select board. In terms of doing something prior to then, prior to July 1st, um, assuming we can find the funding, identify the funding, uh, we can possibly um, you know, recruit somebody to do something part time or on an ad hoc basis. Um, we'll be looking at uh, sources uh, to fund uh, a part time position through some of the recovery uh, monies that are coming to the towns and the um, municipalities in Massachusetts, but uh, we don't have our hands on that money yet, we, we being the town. All right, so it's it's in the cooker and uh, when it can happen, it will happen. It, exactly, so so it, it, in, the, in the meantime, uh, it, it's important to uh, stay on the path of, you know, using, uh, if we can, Western Mass uh, food services and, uh, and any other resource that uh, we have available to us. Good. With it within our budget, obviously. Right. Okay. Well, good. All right. Uh, Margaret, do you have anything to add to that? Well, just the Title V. Um, so I spoke with Rich Wilga today. I met with him. Um, I brought over a stack of papers. We went through them. Essentially, what he said was he, he, he never handled the paperwork. That was something that Greg did. Uh, and he's, he just wasn't at all familiar with it. Um, but he said that he would continue to do the actual inspections on site. He, he knows what he's doing there, obviously. He's it's pretty much been his, what he did in his, uh, you know, in his job. Um, but that he waits to be um, called on to do that. So, you know, it's not like we can just hand him a, all the paperwork and say, hey, you know, uh, Rich, can you can you can you handle this? I, I think he's only going to be coming in at, you know, when when the final testing. Right. So he's not he's not going to fill in the gap that we that no, we have. No, we we still need someone to do okay. that. All right. Well, let me. Uh, I'm going to talk with Greg this weekend, hopefully, and 
we'll work with what we have. Yep. That's sort of where we're, where we're at. I, and, and, you know, I th what I'm hoping for is that once we get a health agent in, in place, that this right. person will also be qualified to take over all of that. So things aren't so choppy, you know, and, and, and relying on, um, you know, volunteers to, to try to do this. Yeah, no, it's definitely, I think the way to go and we're all have our eye on that. So we just have to make it through the next six months. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have any agenda, anything that they'd like to discuss? Uh, I, I'm still trying to track down um, what we need to produce for uh, the E. coli testing, Friends of Lake Warner. Um, Jason um, and I were in contact. Um, he said he could get the Connecticut River Conservancy to send me some documents. Um, I, you know, that was only a two days but ago. He, so he, but he also said that we didn't take money from the CPA. Yeah, I, I, see, I don't know anything about that. Well, we, yeah, we have to, we have to find out about it. Um, could you reach out to Emma and see if she can well, I, I did reach out to Emma because I, you know, I, Jason had said uh, um, he felt it was in email exchanges, but I, I checked the Board of Health website. I, I could not find anything. And when I asked Emma, uh, she said, you know, essentially it wasn't on her own personal one, um, but, it, you know, it was either there or it's not there. So. Well, what, did she know if we use CPA funds or not? She didn't know. I don't know. All right. I, I'll, I think I'll, she orchestrated this a couple of years ago. Right. So I don't really know where we stand. Um, Jason was dealing with a family um, emergency in California. So I, I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to be calling okay. at this particular right. point in time. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try to, uh, hold on, I'm gonna write this down. So I'll, I'll get in touch with uh, Emma and see if there's any way that we can get to the bottom of this. We need to know if the Board of Health accepted CPA money and if we did, how much we've spent because what we haven't spent needs to either be, we have to apply for an extension or we have to give the money back. And this was all money for water testing. We were testing for cyanobacteria uh, in Lake Warner. So I know Emma was ordering the special test kits and the like. Would the um, finance department know about that? I mean, would it have come through somewhere along along that? It have come through somewhere. I mean, somebody who who's Susan. who would be? What's that? Uh, Susan just waved. You can find out if CPA funds were uh, used for that through Linda, the treasurer, or our accountant. Oh, okay. Margaret, can you send an email yeah. to? Her? Yeah, I'm writing this down now. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome. You know, we're trying to do the right thing here, but we don't have the institutional, the department history here. Uh, and we don't have a, a record that we can find of, of what happened. So let's maybe, maybe the treasurer can, can help us out with right. that. I guess the question is, did we receive CPA? Did the Board of Health accept CPA funding for the year 2020? I'm yeah, on, I'll, I'll get on that. Susan, go ahead. Uh, yeah, and uh, it would have had to have been awarded in one of the town warrants, either annual town meeting or fall town meeting. So uh, you can check the warrants on the clerk's website as well. Okay, so warrants on the clerk town clerk's website? Yep, the town meeting warrants. 
because I do think we have a line item in our budget for those water testing kits, and that's separate from any CPA funds. So I, I'm not clear that we spent any, received or spent any CPA funds. Okay. That's what we're trying to get to the bottom of here. Okay. So um, thanks, Susan. I, I, I will reach out to uh, Linda Sanderson and, and, and ask her about that. Sure. Uh, that's it. That's all I have. Does anybody else have any? Uh, I'm just trying to look and see who else. Uh, okay. All right. So I guess that's it for uh, our business. Uh, well, we uh, Susan, I think Bucky Sparkle wants to, uh, he's got his hand raised. So. Okay. Do you want to let him? Uh, so, so, so I, I don't know if you can unmute him or maybe he un unmuted himself. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have the power. Thank you very much. Um, I, I only want to check in for a minute or two tonight. I um, Let me introduce myself. My name is Bucky Sparkle. I'm a civil engineer. I have been uh, in charge of most of the permitting and site design for a project on South Maple Street for Ideal Movers and Storage. Um, I work for those owners and I've brought in a subconsultant, Neil Jackson from JP Engineering Services to do the septic design for this site. And tonight it sounds like I, I'm, I'm gleaning that the town seems to be without an individual who has the technical capability to review, right? This is the first time that we've, we've heard of that. Um, it's, it has been 10 weeks since we've made our submittal uh, our emails and voicemails have been largely unanswered. And, and I'm not here to complain about that because it sounds like you're in crisis. And uh, No, so I, you, you have every reason to, to complain and be upset about it. I apologize for the lack of communication. Our third member on the Board of Health mm -hmm. uh, handles all of this. And He's out on medical leave, and we thought it was going to be a very short one. And as life sometimes throws a curve, uh, we're, you know, we're without him. And to be perfectly honest, we, nobody, you know, we don't have the expertise, but we, you're waiting for approval for the septic design. That is correct. Um, and, and I understand if, if you don't have the, you know, the you know, Title V, the, the, the giant information in Title V, but that uh, technical capability doesn't exist on the board presently. Um, is it possible that uh, we bring in a third party, perhaps a review agent for another town uh, or the Hilltown agents to, yeah. to get a review done so a report can be handed to the board and the board could act upon the yes. application? Yes. Okay. Well, with, with your permission, um, verbal at this point, I will go and um, pr proceed, get this application to somebody yeah. that at, at our expense will review it and provide a letter saying whether or not the plan's good or we'll work it out with them. Yeah. And again, I, I, I do honestly apologize to you. I mean, it's, it's not acceptable. We're, I, I, <laughs> it's a funny world these days. I, I don't okay. have a but that, that would be absolutely satisfactory. And if you okay. get that off on by somebody, Great. we will, Peter, will make sure that we sign off on it. Okay. Um, do you have a preferred town or individual? Happy no. to start there? Okay. Well, I, I know a bunch of people, so I'll, I'll pick one and uh, we'll get right. it. We'll get it going. Hey, Bucky, can I just ask you yes. what your company is so I can stick this in the minutes? Absolutely. Uh, the name of the company is The Zengineer. So it's engineer with the letter Z in front of it, Zebra. Oh, I, okay. Yep. Okay. Because the rest of your project has already been signed off by the planning board, correct? Yes, we, we, everything's in order and they're trying to close on the project and they're reluctant to close without all the permits. Okay. Yeah, we, yes, we will do whatever, please, that would be wonderful, and we okay. will sign off. Okay, all right, well, th thank you for allowing that opportunity, uh, we'll proceed as quickly as we reasonably can, and some resubmit the findings from the independent agent to, yeah. to your office. Thank you for your uh, professional behavior and attitude, I appreciate it. 
Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Peter, Thank you, you for your service. Good luck in your search and getting uh, the personnel that you you really you really need. And I know you know it, so I hope it works out soon. And I wish the best for Mr. Mish. Uh, it it definitely sounds like things have taken a turn, and that's terrible to hear. Yes. Thank you, okay. uh, Peter. You'll keep an eye out, heads up for this from Ideal. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. So this was something, this is something for us to think about moving forward while we're, we're scrambling here for some septic in Title V. Uh, you know, this might be a temporary solution to have a second independent person review it and then we could sign off on it. Well, I'll, I'll have to look into the legalities of that. That's a really interesting idea. Yeah. At least it'll hold us over. So I, yeah, I like, I like the idea of that. Um, so let's, uh, let's consider that. We'll put that on the agenda again for next, for the next meeting. Yeah, I mean, like, like uh, Mr. Sparkle said, uh, you know, if he reaches out to us another you know, local right. surrounding town that, yeah, maybe they can help us out. Yep. Uh, and the business applying for the permit would have to cover the expense of, of having that done. But I, I don't see that we have much of a choice at this point. So, all right, well, that could be a temporary solution. All right, our next meeting will be, uh, I would say in two weeks because we're gonna have more permits. So that makes it the 27th. Yes. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'm going to uh, adjourn the meeting. Thank you, everybody. All right, motion to adjourn then is accepted. Um, Seconded and voted on. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Hey, thanks, everyone. Thanks. See you later.